hello everyone you're welcome back to the channel or if this is your first time here you're welcome to the channel my name is Silem. very pleased to meet you today i'm going to teach you guys how to make a ruched skirt i hope i pronounced it right ruched anyway if you want to see how to make this ruched skirt then definitely keep on watching without further ado let's get right into the video oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> The first thing I did was I folded my fabric in half. I'm using one and a half yards of fabric. I went ahead to, to um, draw the baseline at the top there. And then from that baseline, I'm marking eight inches downwards, which is going to serve as my hip line. And then I'm just confirming the length of my skirts to be 25 inches. Now I divided my um, hip measurements by four. I marked that on the hip line and then I added one inch allowance. I also divided my shape measurement by four. I placed that on the baseline. I marked that point and then I added one inch allowance. Then I went ahead to just um, draw a straight line from the point I marked on the hip line to the end or to the hem of the skirt. I also drew a diagonal line from the hip line to the baseline. So I just connected the points I had marked. Now, the reason why I didn't um, try to make this a pencil um, skirt at the bottom was because, or is because, this is a ruched skirt and you want your skirt to have enough space at the bottom to gather. You don't want it to be too tight at the bottom, otherwise, it's not going to go up, okay? And also, we're not going to be adding any slit at the bottom, so you want your skirts to be free. Now, I simply just folded my fabric again to mark the back piece. I placed my front piece on top of the back piece. I just cut the same outline, but then I left my zipper allowance. And then I'm just I'm cutting open that um, zipper allowance now. Now, I took only my front um, piece, folded it in half again, but I made sure that I'm marking this on the right side of the fabric. I simply just measured the baseline. I divided that by two. I got that measurement and then I just marked that same measurement all the way from the um, baseline or from the waistline all the way to the hem line. And then I just extended that line. So it's just a straight line that goes from the top to the bottom. Now I'm going ahead to cut the rope for my skirt. So this is the rope that is going to gather my skirt. It's um, one and a half inches wide and then the length is twice the length of my skirt. So my skirt is 25 inches, two times 25 is 50 inches. So that's the length that I'm making my rope. That's how long my rope is going to be basically. So I'm just measuring it now, measuring 50 inches and then I'm just cutting. And you want to have or you need two pieces of this. So you need two ropes. So just make sure that you measure your skirt length. And make sure that your rope is twice the length so by the time it's so when you're not um, gathering your skirt your rope doesn't go inside the skirt and gets lost in there okay so that's why you want your rope to be twice the length of your skirt so it's very long even when your skirt is not ruched up your rope still comes out now for my waistband i'm using um, just a piece of fabric and it's four and a half inches wide and it's um, 32 inches long. My waist measurement is 28 inches, but I just added a few more inches to that to make it 32 inches. Now for the casing for my rope, it's two inches wide and the length is um, 34 inches long. Now the length of um, this honestly depends on how long your skirt is again. So you just want to measure your skirt and then add some more inches to that. So I just simply place the back pieces right sides facing and then I'm just closing it at that zipper allowance or closing the zipper allowance rather. Now when I open this up, this is what we have. Now taking my um, the casing from my rope, I'm just going to go ahead and just fold it with quarter and by quarter of an inch. And then I went ahead to just go and iron that flat. Now once I've ironed that flat, I did that on both sides. I'm just placing it on that line that I had marked earlier and then I'm just going ahead to just pin that casing on the skirt. Mind you, we haven't joined the um, front piece to the back piece. This is just the front piece that I'm joining this on. So I'm just sewing it on both sides. Now 
and once i'm done with that this is what we have I'm just going to go ahead and just mark the midpoint or the center point of that casing after I've sewn it on my on the front piece. So just go ahead and mark this the midpoint or the center point of your casing. You want to make sure that it's in a straight line because you're going to sew along that line. And now I'm just going ahead to just sew a straight line from the top all the way to the bottom. I just followed that line that I marked, which is the midpoint, all the way. And then this is what we have once we are done. Now I'm just folding my um, the front piece in half. And then I'm dividing my shape over my waist measurement by four, placing it at that top point, and then I'm marking it. So I'm basically marking the shape the actual shape of my skirt now i'm also dividing my hip measurement by four placing that on the hip area and then i'm marking that point as well i'm just connecting both points again from the hip i'm just going straight i'm not trying to make this pencil because you want enough room at the bottom part i'm emphasizing this because if you try to make your skirt pencil your ruched skirt is not going to get high up when you try to gather it up and you're not going to be able to walk freely so try to just leave it straight from the hip now i just folded it in in half and then i just replicated that um, line i had marked on the other side so i can easily shape in my skirt now placing my back piece on top of my front piece right sides facing i'm just going to go ahead and just sew along that line so i'm sewing from the top all the way to the bottom I'm doing that for the other side as well. And then once I turn that to the right side, this is what we have. Our skirt is almost done as you can see. But I just realized that I didn't put a dart on the back part of my skirt. So that's what I'm doing now. So from the zipper allowance, I mark three and a half inches and then the length of the dart is going to be five inches. I did that on both sides. Now, once I've marked the dart on both sides, I'm just taking that and then I'm just sewing my dart. And this is what we have now i'm taking that rope i had cut earlier that was um one and a half um, inches wide i'm just folding it into two or folding it in half and then i'm just sewing along the length of the rope basically so i simply closed the end and then i started sewing along um the the rope now once i'm done with that i'm just simply using a broomstick to turn it to the right side or to turn the rope out <laughs> to turn the rope inside out now if you have a safety pin you can definitely use that however you want to turn your your rope inside out um def just go ahead and do it okay i did this for the other rope as well now taking one of the ropes, I'm just going to insert it into one of the casings. So one rope goes into one side and the other rope goes into the other side of the casing. Now as you can see, one end of the rope is closed and the other end is open. So you want to take the part that's open and then um, insert that part in. This is because you want the part that comes out of your skirt to be the closed part so it's nice and neat. And then the part that's open to be inside your skirt where nobody sees it. Now I'm just using my broomstick again to insert um, the, the rope into that one of the casings or into the left casing. Just making sure that I get it all the way to the top. 
and when it get once it gets to the top i'm just going to take out the broomstick if you're using a safety pin once you get your rope to the top you want to take out your safety pin and then i'm just holding the rope together with the skirt this is very important if you let the rope go it's going to go back inside the skirt and you're going to have to start afresh so make sure you hold the rope together with the skirt and then go ahead and tack it now if you don't tack the rope with the skirt it's also going to fall into the skirt right so make sure that you're tacking the rope and the skirt together so once i'm done this is what it is my one of my rope is inside one of my ropes is inside and i've put in the second one as well so once we just pull this up you can see that it's gathered and it's ruched it's it's basically very simple to make guys very very easy to make this is what it looks like we're going to go ahead and just you know finish off with the skirts and basically i'm going to turn this to the back side and then taking my band i'm just folding my band in half and then i'm going to go ahead and iron it flat now i just open the zipper allowance side and then i'm placing the band on that um, hemline or on that waistline um right sides facing and then i'm just going ahead to just sew the band with half of an inch seam allowance all the way around and once we're done with that this is what we have this is what the front of our skirt looks like i just went ahead to insert a zipper i hemmed the skirt and this is what we have guys very simple very easy lovely skirts now when we rush this up this is what we have when we gather this up we have a nice nice lovely rushed skirt i'm going to show you guys what it looks like when i put it on now this is what the skirt looks like without you know gathering it it looks like mary amaka skirt <laughs> For my um, non-Nigerian viewers, Maria Amaka skirt is simply a skirt that has no shape and is not fitted. So, but basically, when once I gather it by pulling the the rope, this is what it looks like. Very lovely. It creates a slit and a lovely ruched detail. This is what the back looks like. Very, very lovely. I really love how this skirt turned out. Now, if the slit is too high for you, you can definitely adjust it to not be as revealing as the first one so it honestly depends on you and yeah this is what the skirt looks like thank you guys so much for watching